All right, um, we'll see if anybody else joins in. Today, uh, going to be focusing on bear hugs from the front, uh, a couple from the back. Just a uh, review of those, new for some people. So, in true form, 20 squats. Go. Love mm -hmm. it. Okay, so first one that we're gonna do is bear hug from the front, arms trapped. So we're picturing our attacker right on top of us. Just give me one sec. I'm gonna drop my weight and block the hips. So let's go 30 seconds. Dropping your weight into a fighting stance. Thumbs are in, you go into your own hips in the camera or somebody else's hips, and you're blocking out your opponent. So remember your arms are trapped, so they're gonna be in somewhat tight. Okay, from here, let's get those squats going, down to 18. Okay, let's get our strong side knee warmed up and then we'll add the drop. So just send that knee out at me, right? You guys can knee me in the camera, it's perfect. Okay, from here, we're gonna drop, send the knee right away. 30 seconds, so no hesitation. Drop, knee to the groin. And again, try to visualize it on somebody in the camera. Actually works out pretty well. I'm kneeing myself right now, it's a blast. <sighs> 10 seconds. Okay, 16 squats, reverse stack. Jerry, I, I know you're out there. You might be able to hear and see me, but I have no audio on you. I know your video doesn't work, but I'm just letting you know I see you there. <clears throat> okay. So now we have this one. Now I want you to think your arms are free. So it's more you have to come to this position right here. So as you drop, you're kind of chopping and breaking the arms down so you can get to the hips. So 30 seconds, picture your opponent right in front of you. Your arms are free, so they're on the outside. Bring your elbows into your rib cage and go for the hips. That's the best way 
to describe it. Go. <clears throat> Good, so let's go up down to 14 squats, get there. Okay, good. Let's send the knee on this one now. So from the outside, into my rib cage, hands stay on the hips, in the camera, and I send the knee. Go. Okay, time. All right, we'll get back to the squats in a second. Let's stay on this one. It's gonna be, uh, gonna have to visualize, be a little bit technical. So my arms are free. They're on the outside. So what does that give me access to? It gives me access to an overhook. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna practice on breaking. If we can go slow, I send the knee. Now I'm reaching over the arm. I have that overhook. I have the head. I'm reaching across. Now the head's trapped in that space. I send the knee to the face. I break. I knee. I overhook. Hand back of the neck. I make my connection. I have the head right here. Boom. Knee to the face. We understand that? So all you really have to do is go overhook and make your connection like you have the head trapped and your knee into the face. That's it. Yep, you know it, Jeff, good. Exactly, exactly, you know it, good. Nice, Amy, good job. Good guys, awesome. Okay, time. All right, so we're gonna uh, segment out of this for one second. We're gonna add one more thing. So one of the kicks we worked on yesterday, follow the foot. It's just like a regular front kick. I can come to here, soft tissue area, but I'm gonna kick with the ball of my foot instead of the shoelace area or the shin. So as I kick, boom. I snap the ball of my foot into my target. Temple, cheek, side of the face. And I recoil. So let's practice that kick for about 30, 45 seconds. Ball of the foot. Just like the regular front kick, different surface area. Good, all right, so just so we can add a little bit more visual, visual, uh, visualization to this and add some more things to what we're doing. 
nice and slow. So, and I'll kind of explain the way that I see it going here. Bear hug, three, boom. Knee to the body, overhook, knee to the face. As they're going to the ground, ball the foot to the side of the head. So nice and slow, boom. And look for your third next attacker. Okay, one minute of that. And time. All right, nice job. Let's get to our 12 squats. Okay, good. So now, as we're going through the, uh, the arms trapped, what is that gonna give me access to, right? My arms are in, so I can get my underhook. So now we're gonna walk through visually the head chancery takedown, right? So think about it, my arms, just from arms to trap, no bear hug right now. I'm under the armpit and I grab the back of the head. So let's do that like 10 seconds. Under the armpit, grab the back of the head. Where it meets the neck, right? So I can have some spin of the head. Okay, my next step now, and we know this is cinched up tight. I'm under that shoulder, I have a good grip. I'm on the back of the head. This elbow is down. From here, I'm gonna pull and take the, let me show you the footwork, you guys know it, but it's good review. That front foot is gonna come back behind me as I pull, and I'm gonna step sideways. So let's do that. One, two, one, Two, and as I'm doing that, I'm pulling them off their base. Good. Good job, guys. Okay, so now, Let's add a little hand motion to the two. So all I want you to do is stand in the first position, your one, and just kind of picture that you're pulling the head down and you're throwing the shoulder up. That's it, 20 seconds. Head down, shoulder up. So the body's going two different directions. Okay, good. So now we have one. Now as I step back with the two, let's add that arm motion. That's gonna go off the base, right into the takedown. Here, I just want you to visualize you have the left arm on this one, it'll be the left arm. A 
across your waist. And the person's head is up the top of your body by your left side. One, two, three. I'm ready to strike. Just try to do the best you can visualizing that. Go. Good, bud. Good. Good, Amy. Good job, Jeff and Lauren. Nice. Jerry, I'm sure you're doing good. I just can't see you. Okay, so get the last one. One, two, bring that hand up as high as you can, right? And wow. rain a couple punches down on the person. Every time you cock it back and reset. Still punching with these knuckles, but I'm wow. right to the face. Like to call it punching from the 12th floor. Okay, so all the way through. Add a couple of big shots at the end. Back off and reset. One minute. Chance re to finish. So make sure before you throw each punch, you stand back up. Why? If you lean over and they catch you, it's a good chance for them to throw you. So you want to, boom, recoil right back up. Boom, recoil right back up. So don't throw one and stay there because they're going to look to grab the arm on the second. That's it. Keep it up. Looks good. Good. Okay, time. Okay, let's take the arms trapped right from the beginning. Underhook, you can elbow now, you can add that. Head chancery, trap the arm. Right to the finish. Okay, one minute. Good. All right. You, uh, you guys mind? We had about five minutes of wasted time at the beginning. We'll go to 35 or so. Good. Okay. Squat challenge rounds. We have 30 left. Let's do them now. 30. Okay, grab a quick sip of water. We're gonna go over one more technique and then we'll incorporate it into a drill at the end.
Okay. So just as a point of instruction, we always talk about defense against. Defense against. So what does that mean? So to me, the way I interpret it is you want to make the defense before the attack is actually on, right? Or you want to start your defense while the attack is being employed. So think about it. If somebody comes up and they bear hug you and they pull you in tightly, you may have already missed your opportunity to make the defense, right? So the earlier the recognition of the attack, the more likelihood of success you're gonna have. So listen, I remember one time, like a 10th degree black belt in like Kempo Karate, and this was 20 years ago, and I asked him, I said, you guys might have heard me say this before I go, all your stuff is great. I go, but what happens if the fight goes to the ground? And his response was, if the fight goes to the ground, the fight is over. I never would train with that guy again because I knew that wasn't true. I didn't like it. So think about it. Why do we do ground fighting? Well, if I get bear hugged and thrown to the ground, I have to defend myself now off my back. That's why we do that. And I always say, go look at a professional fight. You got the most highly trained MMA fighters in the world in the UFC, pinnacle of fighting, and another guy's throwing him down. And the guy that's throwing him down might not even be the winner of the fight, but that's why we train everything. So keep that in mind. So along that premise today, I want you to think about persons coming up behind you. We're gonna practice this kick. You recognize that their feet are spread, kind of like the choke from the front, and you boom, send that uppercut back kick to their groin. Turn in and address it. So what I want you to think, you hear the footsteps, you look over your shoulder. This, I'm just basically leaning forward a little and bringing my heel to my rear end. Striking the heel or the calf up to their groin. So I want you to think about that. I look, boom, and I give that little donkey kick back. But you want to think of bringing your heel to your rear end. Hopefully in the meantime, it's making contact, right? But that's the force you want to deliver. All right, so let's do this. I look right away. I see the feet are spread. Persons like this, widening their base, which is what they're gonna do on a bear hug. I look, back kick. Uppercut back kick. Okay, one minute of that. Look, send the back kick. Good. Good. Okay. So think about that. Tonight, in tonight's class, we're gonna address the grabs from behind. I'm gonna stay on the same premise. But for today, here's the drill. Your first attack's gonna come from the back. You're gonna hear the footsteps, boom. Now, you see an attack coming off right up close to the right. You're gonna turn, deliver the knee, finish. You guys decide whether you want to do the underhook or the overhook defense. Boom. You turn, they go to bear hug right away. Boom. Boom. And you guys finish. You got that? So the person's coming to your right side as you go to face them. That's when you see them go for the bear hug and you react. Okay, address the rear, address the front. You guys visualize whether it's trapped or free. Try to do both finishes. Two minute round. Good job, guys.
and time. Okay. Last round. Now let's switch it up. You address a threat from the front. Finish. When you're done with that, Carson's coming behind. Uppercut back kick behind. Address the front threat first, either one that you visualize. Next threat is from behind. Remember, square up and put both your imaginary opponents in front of you so we don't get in the habit of turning our back. That's it. Just something to work on. Two minutes, we're done. Go. <clears throat> And time. All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for joining in. Great class. Um, Amy, thank you. Jeff and Lauren, Bud, Jerry, the, the Invisible Man. Any questions? <laughs>